sleep. State police have identified the woman killed in a two-car accident this afternoon near Crossingville. Local students lay thousands of American flags to show appreciation for our fallen soldiers. We spoke to volunteers about what this means to them. UPMC Hammond's trauma department is taking steps to treat injuries before patients arrive at the hospital. We'll tell you how. Live in high definition from your news leader, this is Jet 24 Action News at 11. A presentation tonight at UPMC Park is helping to reduce the number of trauma-related deaths in the region. Jet 24's Kristen Nielsen has our report. UPMC Hammett's trauma department has been working for over six months to get these Stop the Bleed kits into the hands of local first responders, schools, and venues that routinely host large crowds. So far, recipients include the Warner Theater and the Erie Insurance Arena. Tonight, it was the UPMC ballpark receiving one of these life-saving kits. Uh, UPMC Hammett and Erie Events are partnering together uh, for the frontline staff at Erie Events to receive these uh, Stop the Bleed campaign kits as well as training. Inside these kits is a variety of medical supplies intended to stop severe bleeding in the event of a traumatic injury. There is a tourniquet, there is what we call quick, quick butt gauze, which is a coagulant sponge that helps stop bleeding when you apply pressure. Although large venues and first responders are the first to get the kits in the area, the goal is to get them into every home. I have one of these in, in the trunk of my car. Uh, car accidents, you, you can be a first responder to a car accident. Oftentimes, the first responders are lay people. It takes a while for EMS and the police to get there, and it takes about three minutes to bleed to death from a major laceration. Over 1,500 people have been trained to use these kits in the Erie area. Kristen Nielsen, Jet 24 Action News.